All right, guys, I wasn't really supposed to get started on this until tomorrow. Um, but I figured I'd dip my toes into it and see what it was all about. I do not have a great deal of money, so making this happen isn't going to be very fast. Uh, but I pulled some plastic off from it to see what I was dealing with, everything that I'm going to have to clean up. I found this wiring harness is pretty easy to deal with. This is the main harness for the engine. I better wrap that up so that it doesn't get damaged. That pulls out of there. Um, you come around in here. And actually, right up into the floorboard, there's that. Where the little PCM is and whatnot. You get dealing with this guy when you take out the dash. Just make sure you pinch the little knobby dudes right there good and tight before you slide it out. So that uh, you don't break them. Because the last thing you want to do is be looking for a shock for your glove box. But, that's where I'm off to now. I decided to tear it apart in this little storage bay. Uh, so that, you know, I could leave the body in here, roll the chassis into one of my heated bays, and, you know, do the swap there. I'm going to have to buy control arms, power steering lines, probably a new intermediate steering shaft, things along those lines. Um, looks like the radiator stays in the car when it comes off there. Uh... It's like it's just disconnecting lines from here and pulling out body bolts. And then the chassis rolls out of there. I get it into where I've got more space. And, yeah, clean everything up. I don't have a lot of money, like I said, so there'll be a lot of needle scaling and trying to salvage parts that most people would probably replace. Um, I'll have to get new control arms and things like that, but there'll be a lot of... Uh, painting little brackets black and whatnot. But that's the FJ. That's the story. Just giving you more of what happened to her. There, I'm almost down to the part where it actually broke. So yeah. We'll get it out and see how bad it is. I officially start on it tomorrow. Honestly I'm not gonna make any money doing this. I'm not a wealthy person, so, you know, I don't think my 200 TikTok followers are going to, uh, are going to make me enough money to actually repair this, but if you want to let your friends know, if they're interested in seeing something like this, maybe a few more followers, I could make this nicer than I ever imagined. But, yep, officially starting on it tomorrow.